Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in today's video, as you can see, I'm doing a bit of exploration. I just found Serpentis Narcotics Warehouse, but this is a little bit different because this is not my Ishtar. This is actually a Vexor Navy issue that I fit uh, in such a way that Alpha clones should be able to fly this ship and thus do the exploration that I'm doing here. I think that could be pretty interesting uh, to see what a ship like this can handle. And uh, let's get started here. Um, Serpentis Narcotics Warehouse should be a decent challenge. It's 3 out of uh, 10, so it's not the hardest high sick. Uh, combat site that you can find but it's definitely one that can uh, pay a, a good amount of money um, I've been testing it out just a little bit already but uh, we'll try and take this ship through its paces here we go so we have uh, some small uh, frigates here in the first room which is pretty damn good so I can test out my Federation Navy Hobgoblins head towards the gate and uh, just uh, start blapping these guys so here we go let's uh, get going and let's hope that uh, we don't get too many visitors unlike in the previous site that i tried doing um so five of these federation uh hobgoblins as you can see they just blow through uh one of those frigates pretty easily <coughs> now they automatically i'm not sure why because they should be uh, set to focus on a single target but for some reason they apparently want to go after a single one, uh, after several, um, but there you go, you can see the damage is, is pretty damn good. Uh, let's test them out on individual ships now. So we'll just take every one of them and put them on individual targets. And there you can see the hits now, uh, sometimes really good, more than half the armor. That's pretty much enough to two shot them and they can easily handle these pirate frigates on their own. Uh, I should uh, tell you guys one thing here though, I am of course playing on my main, not on an alpha clone, and so my skills are substantially better than what they can do. Um, that makes this comparison not entirely fair because I have more damage, I have more resistance, uh, I, I just have better performance than an alpha clone uh, could actually achieve with this ship. Uh, in the best case. So there we go. As you can see, Federation Navy Hope Goblins, though, pretty damn good for uh, clearing out these uh, these pirate frigates. Now, next up, we are going to take the uh, supply management building because that can potentially yield us some faction loot. So let's get going. My hammerheads are starting to fire. I also have a couple of guns here. Neutron face cannons and that can add a little bit of damage to speed things up. Hopefully Come on blast through that building for me so that I can grab my loot, please Come on blap there it goes awesome. Let's grab this container. Unfortunately nothing too special And let's go uh, That's sort of weird Oh, it's because there's got a, there's a filter on there. <laughs> so uh, I already did a Serpentis uh, Narcotics Warehouse, but I'll show that to you guys at the, at the end, uh, showing you that you can get some pretty damn good loot from a site like this. But uh, now let's, let's hopefully not be disturbed uh, by anyone and see um, how easy it is to handle the site in a ship like this. So uh, the first room, testing out the small drones, which uh, of course, uh, can be flown on alpha account. Second room, I want to take out the hammerheads and see how they handle uh, some of these uh, some of these frigates because hammerheads are medium drones. They should have worse tracking, um, but if they can still handle these drones, you can actually uh, go with much better setups by taking several flights of these uh, medium drones, giving you more redundancy, uh, better options to basically handle these sites. So we're, we're just going to go straight for it. One hammerhead on one frigate. Should be about as optimal as you can get. Uh, let's see if they can track them and if they can do the right amount of damage. Oh, forgot to put up my uh, tracking link. That's a big mistake. But as you can see here, uh, all of them are taking a decent amount of damage. So this is working out quite nicely. You don't need to take hobgoblins with you uh, in order to, to handle some of the small stuff, these uh, Federation Navy Hammerheads are doing a pretty damn good job of this already. 
So next up, just gonna keep uh, targeting a couple more. This stuff is dying pretty quickly. Uh, of course, drones, um, rats do like to destroy your drones. So let's go like this. Should take care of four more of them. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent and pretty good hits. Right there, Corelli agent lapped right there. I thought maybe they had some trouble tracking that, but it's working out. The first hammerhead is being shot at, so let's uh, keep one eye on him as well as we keep sending them out to destroy more rats. Looks like a good spread here. Is the cruiser still alive? Yes, he is. So we're actually going to start approaching that one with a bit more vigor because potentially he might have some decent loot. So that blows up. Nice. Let's uh, go after this guy as well, please. Thank you. And uh, they want to kill my drones, but uh, unfortunately, they're not doing too good of a job of it. Unfortunate for them, of course. Uh, so we are now going to pull all of them right here on this big guy so that we can blow him up efficiently and try to uh, to grab his loot while after that oh my god they're, they're trying hard but <laughs> hammer hits apparently tanking that damage pretty effectively that one just blew up good grabbing loot setting individual drones back out here like that should be good and uh cruiser only a seven tier so that's okay uh switching back towards the acceleration gate just a couple more of these frigates to take care of and then we're good to go first uh navy hammer taking a little bit of damage but honestly nothing to worry about so that's looking good blab that thank you blab the next one Come on. Yep. Good. Off we go. And then we take the gate after every drone has been returned. So off we go. Um, third room here. Uh, a little bit more to do. But uh, not by much. It's actually very similar to, uh, to this uh, room. So we want to activate the gate of course. And let's go to the next one. Uh, I'm actually going to take out this music because uh, I think I had like um, a warning uh, that uh, of copyright on, on the, that music. So we're going to take this out for a moment. And we're going to focus on what's actually happening here. So again, uh, we'll start by approaching the cruiser actually because that one can have some loot. We're going to put out the hammerheads and we are traveling. Looks good. Obviously, sentry towers here might want to be destroyed first. So just keep going. Two on the first one. Two on the second one. And one right here as the firing starts. At least they're firing at my ship. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And uh, let's see if they can... Federation... Drones missing? That, that's not what we want to see. We want to see them hit everything. So, they're, they're, yeah, and my uh, tracking speed increase is going as well. So that's a little bit strange. But okay, let's uh, have them target close, guys. Like this. Again, first drone taking a little bit of damage. But I think we'll be okay. Couple more to target. Looks good. Come on, keep going, keep going. Destroy, destroy, destroy. I am seeing miss here again. Miss here again. A bit too many misses to my liking, to be honest. This guy is now taking more damage, so obviously we'll need to recall him, which we're going to do right now. And we're going to switch that out for a hobgoblin. Like that. Go, go, go. Two more of them taking damage. 
Uh, that's unfortunately not a great idea of the rats because uh, spreading the damage is not what they want to do. But look at that. They're actually doing a pretty good job here. Forced to return this one at least. So let's do that. Two in bay should be good. Let's also target uh, the cruiser for destruction next. But I can, I can just let my drones handle all of this. They're doing a pretty good job. Big hit here. So we're going to return you as well. And the cruiser died. Of course. Cruiser wreck. Let's see if I can spot that. So a bit small wreck. Overseer wreck. That's what we need. Good. Um, so actually... I'm, I was seeing a lot of misses here. I would still go with at least one flight of small drones as well. Uh, just in case um, you're seeing the same problems that I was seeing here. You can still see the, the hammerheads miss quite often. Uh, whereas the uh, hobgoblins are doing a much better job. So in fact I'm going to recall both of these. I'm gonna go with full hobgoblins. Small drones for the rest of these guys. And that's the Overseer wreck. Yep, we're approaching that. Let's see if there's any loot in this. <laughs> well, a little bit, uh, just uh, no faction. There's a chance that it uh, drops faction though. Uh, uh, we actually just need, well, all right. Let's let them take care of the sentries as well. That's looking good. Next up, approaching the acceleration gate and that's where it's going to be a bit more interesting uh, because in the final room you actually have a lot of stuff to tank um, and you have a pretty big target that you need to try to destroy so let's see if we can handle that without too much trouble we can return this there's no need to destroy this final sentry and off we go final room There we go, fix our navy issue, doing work. And that's what I mean, as you can see, a pretty big blob of, um, of enemies. Uh, the good thing is, if you're not in competition, you should, I think, be able to kite a lot of that. So let's get started. Let's do just one fire here to attract their attention. Hopefully that will be enough uh, to set them on me and not on my drones, because those should spread out quite substantially. Here we go, drones towards uh, towards the target station. They can do around 300 DPS. You can see how they spread out quite heavily though. Uh, so recalling them will take quite a bit of time. There is their damage. Uh, where the hell is my target? Oh, it's still too far away. So they're actually working on, on some of those enemies. That's not what I wanted. All right, so uh, the warping point, first lesson here, the warping point, uh, oh, it's because it's tracking disrupting. There we go. They are actually doing damage on that. That's good. So we can, we can take our time. It's pretty obvious that they are going to manage to destroy this. Uh, that's pretty awesome, actually. So I can head in this direction, I think is good towards the loot. Uh, one of them taking damage but yeah here we go let's uh, return this guy to drone bay they don't like what my drones are doing that's pretty obvious let's see if we can actually hit this with my guns a little bit as well oh he's a bit in armor so let's take an extra drone out it's in structure they're targeting yet another one let's return this guy seriously hitting this guy here as well i'm actually Getting into armor? Man. Tough to snipe uh, this loot box here. Let's get a couple more hops out. Let's hope that they can add enough damage to uh, clear the rest. Go, go, go. Yeah, this guy needs to be returned as well. This guy as well. Man, 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 man. What a mess. Look at how much stuff is flying around here. And... Uh, 
they're actually doing a lot of damage. Of course, you can take the long road as well if you really want to. Um, so you can uh, you can actually destroy everything uh, because well, here we go, taking taking damage. Let's start ripping. Let's see how my ripping can handle this. Come on, my little guys, finish off the loot pinata so I can grab it because I don't want to lose what I've already found in the previous site. Keep going, keep going. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. 5%. You can do it. Blap. Destroyed. Awesome. There it goes. Returning my drones now. Wrapping looks to be okay. Loot is here. Quick bursts. We can handle that for the cap. And phew, we did it. Uh, it was not that easy but uh, but we did it so let's loot this one as well grab another 35 million not bad uh, planet one warp within zero and i will take a look at some of the loot and uh, and show you guys the fit of this uh, this fix or navy issue that i think alpha uh, state clones uh, in exploration are going to love so off we go as you can see it can handle the site without any real trouble uh, you might want to first maybe take off a little bit of dps before going for the final uh, loot pinata if you're an actual alpha clone because your resistance will, will be a little bit less your damage from your drones will be a little bit less uh, and all of that good stuff but i think you can still handle the site uh, if you do your best so let's take these out Let's take a quick look at the loot. This is from two of these sites, two of these narcotics warehouses. A daredevil blueprint is going to be worth as much as a daredevil is worth, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, let's maybe see if I can find an idea of this. View market details of a daredevil. 45, let's add another 50 million for this one. And then of course we've got uh, first faction, not worth a lot, not worth a lot, but this here, uh, afterburn, 24 million. Uh, small remote rep 10 million, uh, micro op drive 33 million, 670,000 here. Um, total value, let's see how much I have to take out of the value 4 million, so 155 million, easy 200 million in two Serpentis narcotics warehouses, which I think will be doable sites in a Vixor Navy issue for alpha characters. Let's show you guys the fit that I went with. You already saw the drones. Uh, five uh, Federation Navy Hammerheads and five Federation Navy Hobgoblins. Then in the high slots, we of course have a core probe launcher with sister scanner probes, so you can do some scanning. Two regulated neutron uh, phase cannon ones with uh, Kaldari Navy antimatter charges. One drone link augmenter for longer drone range control. 50 MN cold gas enduring micro warp drive. Two uh, compact cap rechargers. One um, Enduring omnidirectional tracking link, which uh, helps with the tracking of your drones. Three drone damage amplifier ones. Uh, one uh, damage control for better resistance. One uh, um, medium armor repair, take one as well. Uh, I took an upgrade, energized adaptive nano beam pre one. Um, not sure if that's the best choice but i think it could be okay to just try to get your overall resistances up and then here i have uh, auxiliary nano pump anti-thermal and anti-kinetic pump because we were facing uh, sancha of course so this was the fit that i tried i think i've checked pretty much all the requirements of this fit this will be flyable by an alpha account and as you can see here um, i think that it will do a really good job of uh, tackling high sec uh, exploration combat sites as well so that's what i wanted to share with you guys in this video uh, uh, my mind is set on uh, the uh, the alpha clone uh, state and what it will mean for the game and so here is a first attempt at showing what potentially these guys will still be able to do in eve online which uh, in my opinion is not bad at all thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time